Hello everybody, I'm Shitanshu from Dream Abroad and today in this video we'll be discussing about some big changes that have been introduced to the Express Entry System which are effective from today onwards that is 16th of November 2022 when I'm making this video. We'll not only talk about the changes, we'll talk about how these changes will affect you and what do you actually need to do in order to ensure that you're still eligible for the Express Entry System. What do you need to do if you're waiting in the Express Entry pool, if you're going to create your Express Entry profile soon, or even if you have received your ITA recently. We're going to talk all about this big change in the Express Entry system. How is this going to affect you in detail in this video? So don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so what's the big change? that has been introduced today on 16th of November when I'm making this video in the Express Entry system. So from today onwards, NOC 2021 is applicable. Now a few months ago, I've made a couple of videos on this topic, but some of you who might not be aware about this change and how is this going to severely affect you, I'm going to give you a quick summary. So until yesterday, Express Entry and all other Canadian immigration systems used to follow NOC 2016, according to which there were five skill categories NOC 0, A, B, C and D. But now going forward, 16th of November onwards, it would be all NOC 2021 and now the new categories have been renamed as tier 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So most of the jobs that were in skill type 0 earlier would be tier 0, similarly skill type A would be tier 1, skill type B which was the biggest pool of jobs would now be divided into tier 2 or tier 3, skill type C into tier 4 and skill type D into tier 5. The next big change is about the occupation codes. So if you have already created your express entry profile, you will certainly be aware about your NOC code, which is a four digit code corresponding to your job roles and duties. Earlier it was four digit, now going forward, today onwards it would be a five digit occupation code. And of course, because of all this restructuring, the eligibility criteria for the express entry would be changing as well. We'll talk about all these points and what you need to do. But before that, let's talk a little about the tier categories and some example of jobs. So the tier zero now would have the management occupation jobs. Tier one would have occupations that usually require a university degree. Now all these tier two and tier three used to be skill level B earlier and they have subdivided it into two different categories. Then of course there's tier 4 and tier 5 as well. The good thing is that they have included 16 new occupations which were not eligible earlier and now according to the new tier system they would be eligible for the express entry system. For example truck drivers who were not eligible earlier but now would be eligible. Okay so this was the change on the part of the system but what do you need to do in order to make sure that your profile is still eligible so we'll talk about three cases number one all those people who haven't even created the profile so if you're going to create your profile on or uh, after november 16th 2022 then you don't actually need to worry about these things because because you would now get the option of choosing the tier category and five digit occupation codes instead of the old skilled categories and four digit occupation codes. So you don't even need to know about the old skill levels and four digit occupation codes. All the people who have existing profiles, which means you created your profile on or before November 15, 2022. All of you guys would need to update your profile with your tier category and the five digit occupation code. Now this is the section of people I am most concerned about because if you don't update your express entry profile then it would be ineligible for the express entry draws. So guys please make sure that you do update your express entry profile and do it ASAP because they are going to conduct another draw on November 23rd and even if your CRS score is above 500 you won't get the ITA because you have missed to update your express entry profile and it is ineligible for express entry at the moment. So please don't do that mistake and go and update your profile right away. It should not take you more than 10 minutes. Okay, now the third category of people who have already got the ITA in the last couple of months. So if you check your ITA, you might find details regarding NOC 2016, 
but you don't need to worry at all. You don't need to update anything. Your application would be processed as per NOC 2016 only. So yes, the biggest concern is for all those people who are waiting in the express entry pool, you do need to update your profile guys. Okay, now let's quickly see how you can actually find the new five digit occupation codes. Let's say that you want to find your occupation code for the role of a database administrator. Uh, that's an occupation in IT field. So I'm just going to type here database and maybe even database might be fine because uh, there might not be many jobs regard regarding the database administrator or developer. So I'll just search with this. So let's see what comes up. NOC code 2172. Mind it, this is for the NOC 2016. Okay, so 2172 is for NOC 2016. We'll open this one. And now we'll check for the NOC 2021. So let's see what comes up here. So similar name actually came up for NOC 2021 as well, where the NOC code is now a five digit NOC code, totally different actually what we had earlier. Earlier it was 2172 and now it is 21223. If you go and check the details, you might find that two NOCs, the details, the duties, everything else is very similar so see we have all these different points and those would be very similar to whatever we have here in the new NOC code similarly the job duties would also be the same this we have here for database analyst and for database administrators similarly you have the similar ones that were there in 2016. now this was a common example where the names were exactly similar as well like database analyst and administrators and similarly here also you have database analysts and administrators but in some places you might find the names are also different so you might have to spend some time i believe many of you might have already done it but respective to your job duties and responsibilities you actually need to find the new NOC code the five digit occupation code in the 2021 version and accordingly create or update your express entry profile guys please let me know in the comment section if you want me to make a detailed video of of how to update your express entry profile i will definitely try to make that video for you as well okay guys now we can talk about the updated eligibility criteria for the express entry system so of course all the changes related to the tier categories have been introduced for example in the case of cec class you can see that clb7 is required for tier 0 or tier 1 occupations but CLB5 is required for tier 2 or tier 3 occupations. Earlier it was CLB7 for skill level 0 and A and CLB5 for skill level B. But now as the skill level B has been divided into tier 2 and tier 3, we do have this updated criteria. Similarly in the work experience as well, similarly as earlier, eligibility criteria was for that CEC class you need to be eligible for skill level 0, A or B. Now it has been broken down to tier 0, tier 1, tier 2 and 3. And similarly you do find it in the skilled worker program as well. So here they have also mentioned about the CRS system and the selection factor points. So the points you get in the CRS system will follow the skill type or the level update chart. Which basically means that if I've got points for skill type 0, now they would be converted in tier 0. And similarly for skill A tier 1 and skill B tier 2 and tier 3. So guys this was the big update. This was the change that has been introduced today and the corresponding action that you have to take in order to be eligible for the express entry system. If you want me to make a detailed video of the express entry profile, how to update it, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll try to make that in the next couple of days. Thanks a lot for watching this video.